Now, the Victorian Society has released its annual list of the 10 most endangered buildings in the country, and two of them are here in the Midlands. Yes, the uh, Waterloo Hotel in Smethwick was opened by local brewery Mitchells and Butler in 1907. Wingfield Station in Derbyshire is even older, built way back in 1840. Callum Watkinson reports. With its terracotta facade and elaborate interior, the Waterloo Hotel is a classic example of Edwardian Baroque. It was opened by Mitchells and Butler in 1907 as a showpiece venue for drinkers to enjoy their local brew. But it's been empty since 2010. It's not good for a building to be left uh, lying unoccupied. The, the elements, the weather, thieves, all sorts of reasons can sort of come down to really render it uh, an unfortunate uh, relic, really. So we'd like someone to utilise it. The Waterloo Hotel and this old bank itself, now a pub, are two of the most recognisable structures along this stretch of Cape Hill. And as modern malls like the Windmill turn town centres into carbon copies of each other, it's old buildings like these that bring neighbourhoods what estate agents call character. I love the architecture in there because simply because there was a lot of original features. There's a beautiful staircase that goes all the way up to the top and all of that kind of stuff should not be lost with a building like this. It's a landmark of this, this area. Everybody knows it. It's, um, it's, it must be restored or saved. It must be. The Waterloo is one of ten buildings nationwide to appear on the Victorian Society's endangered buildings list for the second year running. The list was compiled by consulting with local campaigners like John Hardwick. He nominated Wingfield Station in Derbyshire, 172 years old and one of the prettiest examples of its kind. In most books on the subject of railway architecture, it is said to be the most picturesque of village stations in the country. The way it's being treated at this moment in time, and if nothing is done urgently, it will be an absolute ruin and nothing will be able to be done with it. Queen Victoria had only been on the throne a few years when trains began passing through here. The station finally closed in 1968 and the results of the neglect since are clear to see. As for the iconic hotel in Birmingham, it'll be auctioned at the end of the month. The next stage in the battle to save the Waterloo. Callum Watkinson in Smethwick for Central tonight. And uh, you can see the full list of the other endangered buildings across the country on our website, itv.com slash central.